What's up guys, it's Francis Young coming at you guys with my second update on my May 2014 deck profile on my decks. Today I'm going to be profiling uh, my Heretic Ruler deck, which is Post Dragons of the Legends. This guy got way better, I think it's the top deck right now other than, well, Mythic Rulers is the top deck, but this is a Heretic Ruler build and it's still really good. This is my new f uh, deck for Post Dragon of Legends. So I did pick up a, a box and I got a couple cards to guys for you show you that I put in this incorporated into this deck. I hope the glare is not too bad. I think I'm gonna move just back quite a bit. Yep, that's much better. And we'll get started on this deck profile. So you play one Dorella's Darkness Med. A lot of people are cutting this card. I mean it is kind of sometimes a dead draw if you draw it. I rather something with the effect of Adam or something like that. It's still a very good card. Its effect lets you summon a dragon from your hand or graveyard so it helps with the OTKs. You obviously play the four dragon rulers. Um, I see some people dying title, dumping title for and only playing these three. I don't know why they do that. You actually need your dragon rulers at the max. So yeah these are the best dragons right now. It's really surprising to see uh, Dragons still being the top deck since they got hit, but I guess it's because of Soul Charge and the Dragon Legends. Three Tef knew it. Obviously, it's the Heretic. Three Sue, the MST. Three Asset, the Level Manipulator, and that's the main Heretics you play, those nine. And then I choose to play two Netbed because sometimes his effect comes in handy where you're gonna pop a monster or if you just need the extra Heretic. For the tuners, I play one debris. It's still a good card, I find. One flame roll guard and one Labrador. These three are your like your main tuners, and they also make Adam for a little Labrador. I like it makes your sixes. Flame roll guard makes your eights or your black rows, and one luster to make your sixes sometimes. And the last two cards I play is from the new Dragons of Legends, Tree Curry Bandit. This is card is amazing. For those of you that don't know what it does, you basically excavate five cards from the top of your deck, add one spell or trap that was been excavated to your hand, and then send the rest of the cards to the graveyard. So imagine if you dump all your dragons or your heretics or whatever and you get a soul charge over it, it's pretty much really good. Two soul charges, cause I don't like playing three. You're only gonna use one per game anyways. Three shrine, the fluid burial, very good card. Some people actually use the Dragon Shrine before they use the Curry Bannon's effect. I tell them to use the Curry Bannon's effect and then use the Dragon Shrine. Two Wing Beats, because you're Heavy Storm. Um, two Heretics. Basically, you search for your Heretics. Nothing like that. Nothing sim simpler than that. Two Upstarts. This is my other two, my other ones on my Evil Swarm deck. Two Seal. Now, this card's very good. I love, see a lot of people dumping this. It's basically what you do is once per turn on your opponent's turn, you get to dump a heretic in your graveyard and one on your turn. You get to add one of your banished heretics to your graveyard and if this card's destroyed, you special summon one of your heretics. So this this actually helps for the pluses. I mean, uh, heretic rulers are really, really good late game. They're, they're basically a very good deck, I find in general. The, the only worst matchup is Ophion, but not it's not really hard to side against the Ophion. You play one Warning, Bombless, Torrential, and I play Mirror Force. I might replace this with a Compulse. I'm still not sure yet. I still like playing traps rather than the can traps like Trag or Scarecrow or Ma uh Yeah, those ones. And I'm not playing any Maxi. I'm actually siding Maxi and Break Truce. I don't play Valor in this build. I don't find it good. Um, well, it is pretty good, but... I guess it's just my opinion, but this is the main deck. It's 40 cards. Uh, I think it still has a lot of work to do. Heretic rulers aren't as good as mythic rulers right now. Mythic rulers are probably winning the dragon battle. But uh, I find this deck very still good. It's very easily to OTK if you have all your pieces together. Uh, the only thing I wouldn't like about it is this deck. It could be slow coming out if you draw all your spells and none of your heretics. It just really depends on how you play it. I mean, easily Curry Bandit could get you back in the game. It's just such a good card. So we're going to go on the side. The side my choices are a bit weird. 
maybe, I mean, I play Camera Attack and the two Cyber Dragons, mainly because of Gear Gears. I don't like that deck right now. Spamming too much. I didn't even get hit. Two Max Cs. Two Encores. This is important against the Consular matchup, but more importantly versus Evil Swarms. Evil Swarms are very, like, it's probably your worst matchup, I'd say. Macro, um, just in case I need it. Eradicator for the Red Eyes Darkness Med. Uh, two Breakthroughs. I am actually might replace these with Veilers. I'm not sure right now. The Breakthroughs are really good. It's just, um, I'm not sure what. Maybe I'll replace it with Veilers, but I think Breakthrough is good too. Equally as good. Two Shadow Prism here. This is just for the Zofion. They can't get the effects off, which is very good. And two skill drains because a lot of people play it. It's very good. Nothing like having a 28 beater like a blaster or a star eater on board. Um, so that's main in the side. Um, well I guess we'll get started with the extra. Uh, the extra could use some work. I might pick up another Draco sack depending on if I need it or not. I play t these two tokens because that's all I have. I don't have any Draco sack or YCS. Never been to a YCS. Uh, one Draco sack. Um, uh, Draco Sack essentially is very good. Uh, some people play two because the, the reward they're gonna go through the first one, but I actually found myself needing a second one in some games where I went through all three of my main rank sevens. I played a big guy two, but big guy is actually not. It's pretty good right now, but you know, Draco Sack's better. And I play number seventy four, which is an all right card, I guess. Anything that targets you negate, you just attach and you negate it, and then you could destroy one card on the field. So it's pretty good. I mean, I replace this one in the Draco Sack, depending if uh, when I will get it. But I like the Master of Blades. Two Chargers. Um, people don't know if you go through all three of your main rank sevens, the Draco and such, you could go into the Gaia instead. But usually, I overlay onto these Atoms to go for OTKs. Atom obviously helps your OTK. Helps you just get that extra dragon on the field. M7. Uh, no M7 helps with OTKs, it's a great monster, it's very strong. Gauntlet Launcher, I play this over Bouncer, I just like it right now, it just pops two monsters in one turn. Next are the Synchros, you play one Black Rose. Factory Hoven actually ditched this in his mid to ruler build and he, I heard him say uh, he actually was missing the Black Rose, so yeah, I'm always going to play Black Rose, it's a very good card, solid. Crimson Blader, um, this card's awesome, but it's not that used anymore, I mean, versus mermails I guess in mere matches dragons stardust sparky sparky is very good it's like a safe zone stardust obviously scrap because the combos with the heretic seal and such and the last card I play star year I don't play leo I don't play all those tuners to make leo I actually like star year a lot so yeah um that's my deck profile um uh, this deck's pretty good I, I, I like the heretic ruler build um I'm actually not regretting this making this I mean, I, I was playing the regular Heretics for a while, and I didn't really like it. I like the Heretic Ruler build right, right now, so I hope you guys enjoyed it once again. Read, comment, subscribe. Tell me what t changes you would want to make or anything. I mean, you could guys neck, neck, deck, neck deck this. It's not a perfect deck, but it could use some work. So I hope you guys enjoyed it once again, and read, comment, subscribe. Thanks, guys.